Okay. All right, let's do this. All right. Hey, Ray, come on in. This is the August 30th House and Studio Tour, 2008. So come on in. Behind that camera is my brother Ray. <laughs> so now Ray and I have been talking about this for a long time. And uh, so he's moved out here. He's been out here about uh, 12 days. And here we are the second Saturday and we're going to start a video dialogue uh, for the collectors that come to our website. So this is for you. And I know we get we get uh, requests all the time. Oh, can we come by and visit your studio? But the problem is, is that if I took all the requests that came in, I'd never get anything done. So Ray and I have been talking about this, you know, and he's been on the website building it for over three years. And uh, we just thought, okay, when he moves out to California, we're going to do a video tour of the house and the studio. And then we're going to start to visit with certain eras that I've worked in, like story time and like the, like the Disneyland Main Street. And we're going to try and keep these segments in these short uh, segments so that uh, we can condense them for you and you can click on the areas that you want to look at. So the first area, come on in. And uh, I'd like to say uh, the way my house is set up is that it's broken into the areas that I've done the work in. So this room, in my mind, is the pre gobel room and the Gobel room. It's a mixture. So the Gobel room, uh, it's our living room. Uh, it's my early paintings, and it's my early paper mache. Um, you can see by the paintings, there's a lot of change in styles, and we're not going to dwell on every single piece that we look at. But um, in the first 14 years of my artistic life, after I graduated from college, I really focused on painting. And uh, I really like this house because uh, all the art on the walls uh, is very friendly to showing this art in my house. So uh, the other thing that's in this room is uh, my transition from uh, painting into the paper mache works. And uh, this is a paper mache piece that I did for my kids uh, when they were little. And this was my first entry into miniatures. Uh, this is a piece I bought back. It took me about eight years to find the lady that uh, I bought this back from. And uh, from that, I went I built my daughter a dollhouse. And if you take a look over here, this living room scene uh, that's on this cabinet uh, houses all the pre gobels And these are the very first uh, miniature carvings that I had done. And that bookcase I built for my daughter's dollhouse living room. So uh, this really became my transition into uh, miniature in-scale uh, figurines. So uh, if you look in here in this cabinet, uh, I really began, and I, I have to say, I have really paid attention to uh, figurative porcelain, uh, European, uh, Chinese. This case is some of the pieces that I've collected. This is Capitamani, and this is uh, German porcelain, some Russian porcelain. Uh, of course, some Chinese porcelain, and uh, this is a beam piece, and uh, some of these pieces I've actually uh, done in 112 scale, and uh, this is the area that I studied for about uh, 14 years. So, uh, that's this room, and uh, my last comment about this room is that uh, even the work that I do today, not everything in here is from this period. I'll just show you a couple pieces. Um, here on this table is a current piece. Oh yes, the one we're looking at now, this uh, flagpole uh, piece, that's me and my dog. And uh, I'd like to just say about that is that uh, I painted it, it's in a very rough style. And my question to myself was, could I make a piece of sculpture that looked like a painting? And uh, so I have another painting, if you take a look in our, in our website, uh, it's called Fourth of July, and uh, it's a companion piece to this. It's a two-dimensional painting, and of course this is a three-dimensional sculpture. Uh, the other thing that I use this room for is a test. Uh, this is an heirloom box that we're currently doing, and I always take the current things that I'm working on, and here you have this little Tinkerbell surprise in here, and I look to see how these pieces will look in my house, and of course this is the test. 
uh, of the piece. So if it doesn't look good in here, then I want to change the cell. And then this last uh, table that's in here, uh, here's another piece from a line we're doing now called Nature's Canvas. It was introduced at the June gift shows. And there are uh, stone boxes. And uh, I love the way it looks on this table. And this is a bronze of uh, one of the uh, motorcycle pieces that I did. So uh, that's this room, the living room segment of my house. Next, we'll visit the hallway. And we're going to okay. take a look. Hang on one second. I got this. Oh, I edit this. I gotta get the stock.